Do you ever wonder what grade your website would get? Today we're going to talk about website grading tools and how they can make you findable online. So I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with grades. I was one of those really annoying students that like hung out at office hours and put an apple on the professor's desk and you know, I was gonna do whatever it took to get an A, A plus ideally. So I love a grade. I think a lot of people love, everyone on Facebook and they have like quizzes like what's your unicorn name or you know, <laughs> who secretly loves you. I can't, I love a quiz. It's just like there's like, you, I can't stop. And then pretty soon I'm doing all these crazy quizzes. I'm like, you need to let go, you just step back. And the same thing goes with websites. There are a ton of good graders out there, but I wanna introduce you to two that I have a lot of respect for and I think will really help you to understand that the engine of your website, the guts, the back end, is so important that that be super tight. And because we're business owners, we don't understand what that's supposed to be. It's like if I pop my, you know, I told my husband I pick cars based on how many cup holders it has and the color on the outside. Everything else is really irrelevant to me until after I buy the car and it won't even get onto the highway. So there are certain things that we know and certain things we don't know. And so I wanna have these tools at your disposal so when you are hiring a web developer, you can run these tools on their sites. If the web developer has a crappy number, you probably don't wanna hire them. I recently went in, a gal had had a bad relationship with a web developer. I went into their website, ran these tools on all the websites and they were abysmal numbers. And I'm like, no, 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 do not hire her because they may make a beautiful website, but the technical prowess of it is poor. And Google knows that first. That's like the, the baseline for understanding for Google is, do I trust you? Is it a good grade? So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is websitegrader.com. Now websitegrader.com is owned by HubSpot, genius. If you're gonna look at some way to build your business, Website Grader has done a great, just give them a grade. Figure out a way to give them a grade. No matter what it is, people love assessments. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna put your website address in here, findability.com. You do not have to put your email address in here, just put findability.com and then get your answer. Now you'll see this little wonderful little tool goes back and forth like it's doing all these calculations, it's genius. Now I got an 84 on my score and so there's always good, better, best. So you're always reaching for, I've never seen a hundred. I've seen some like mid nineties, but I've never seen a hundred. So, and you are more than your score. I just want to make, do not judge yourself by your score. Do not fire anybody based on your score. Just go in with the understanding that you didn't know what the rules were. Neither did the person who builds your website, apparently because your score is low. That doesn't mean they're bad people. It doesn't mean they should have known this and didn't do it. It's just everyone has a different assessment that they work from. So this assessment though is the assessment that's gonna tell you exactly what Google is. So when Google pings your website, it's running a test on you. It's called the Google algorithm. And if you don't measure up, then it's not gonna rank you. This website grader is looking at the same elements. It's saying, I'm gonna ping your site, I'm gonna visit your site, I'm gonna see does it have all the things that make it trustworthy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down You'll see four key indicators here. The first one is performance. How fast does the site pull, right? And so if the site's like one 1,000, two 1,000, like why is this site so slow? What are you doing in the background? Are you doing something deceptive? They don't like slow, they like fast. So if your website's slow, that could be a big indicator of why maybe your score is not as good as it should be. The next indicator is mobile, okay? So over 40% of searches on Google are being done on mobile devices and that number just keeps going like crazy. You know how much we spend on our little smartphones. They're a big part of our life. And they say that we check our cell phones over 50 times a day. And I'm sure that number is probably higher, but that's the last study I read. And I'm like, God, that seems like a lot. So when you're looking at the next component, which is mobile friendly, can I take your website and push it down and push it down until it's this big? Now what should happen is those, it should beautifully collapse on each other. The menu goes into something called a hamburger. It's like a little lines and that's where the navigation is. The images should all be lined up perfectly. If it's not, then that's not responsive and Google's gonna be like, uh-uh, we're not gonna let you rank as high because you're not meeting the requirements. So for mobile, you should have a 30 out of 30. That means I can pull your site, I can push your site, looks great. Pull your site up on your smartphone if you haven't ever done that before. 
The next one is SEO. I don't really take this all too seriously because clearly that's my entire discipline, but it does tell me if there's a keyword consistency on the page. Very important. Finally, security. 10 out of 10. Remember that HTTPS at the very top. Every page in the website should be HTTPS. If it is not, you will get a zero here. Don't panic. It doesn't mean your website can be hacked. It doesn't mean anyone's done anything deceivious to you. You just have to think about, I got to call my host or have someone call my host and get me on a secured server. That's it. You're good. Don't panic. A lot of people get zeros there. Okay. Now, as you scroll through this report, you're going to get all kinds of recommendations. Look for the red, get the red out. Very simple. Okay. So that's websitegrader.com. Now we're going to bump over to my next favorite grader, which is WooRank. Like woo woo, W O O R A N K dot com. Now, this tool is a little more grumpy than Website Grader, so you're going to have to go in there. They'll let you one run one report before it's going to bump you to a paywall and they want you to sign up. So be judicious. Now, a couple workarounds is run it here, get your number, open incognito, do it again, go through search, do it again. So you can run about three before it catches on to what you're up to. <laughs> Just a little workaround. Sorry, Woo Rank. So when you come in here, you just pop your name in here. So I'm going to do findability.com. And hey, if you're getting your score, post it down in the comments and, you know, tell me about that. I mean, don't beat yourself up, but like, dang, I got a 40 and I just launched my new website. It's, it's, we don't know what we don't know. It's like, I don't question my mechanic or my doctor when he says I got this or I got this problem. I, you don't question. And so as business owners, we don't have a lot of diagnostic tools that'll tell us actually what's going on with our websites. These do. It's fantastic. So let's go over here. So as we look through the website, there's always going to be different numbers. So every assessment tool, like I got an 84 on Marketing Grader and I got a 70 on WooRank. WooRank is a much more discerning, specific assessment. I pay big bucks for this guy every single month. Website grader is kind of a more fluff and fold. It's a little more higher level. This is like the nitty gritty. And let's just see what I'm, I'm always looking to improve my stuff, just like any other business owner. And I'm always working on client stuff and not on mine, which is not an excuse, but you know, I always have to go back and, you know, take a look at what I need to do. So I'm going to scroll down through here and you'll look at all the things that are green. Anything that's green, I'm golden and I'm happy for that. Go down, go down, go down. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. And you'll see here that it gives you just a beautiful representation of all the different ways that people are engaging with your website. So I'm just looking through the document. Tap targets, I don't know what that is. Okay, yeah, it doesn't like the big, it doesn't like the big links on my homepage. So I have on my homepage, I've got those huge sliders. Some of you have might seen those. Those sliders tend to take up a lot of bandwidth when they pull them up. So it's going to slow the website down. And remember, Google hates slow. It likes fast. So I need to keep going back in and reminding my web developer to optimize those sliders because it does slow down the site. And I think that's a big reason why. So as you scroll through here, just take a look and see what can you get the red out. Get the red out of the report. You don't have to know what they are. Just send this report to the web person in your life and say, get the red out and let me know how we can do that. That's all you're required to do. And if your engine is humming smooth and you are looking good to Google, then any kind of findability and content dev that you do on top of that is just golden. But if that engine ain't purring like a kitten, you're never going to rank the way you really deserve to rank. So check out marketinggrader.com and woorank.com and have fun geeking out over assessment tools. They will tell you volumes about the health, the technical health of your website. Whoa.